Welcome back, Muck World Loggers. What you see here is the world's most annoying and useless chain grinder. I'm not going to say any names, but it, the place I got it rhymes with Schmarber Schmarty. I guess for $30, what do you want? It never worked right, and I got another one. And it's not like our usual content, but but we're gonna do a review video on this bad boy. It is a Timber Tough. Um, they wouldn't give me a discount because the box was damaged. They just said, suck it up, buddy. This is from Tractor Supply. Imagine you can probably get it from a lot of different outfits. So we got, it's a Bench Pro. Looks like this box has seen better days. I'm not sure what exactly happened here, but it wasn't good. Uh, electric sharpener for chains includes work light. Almost got work light on it. 120 volts, operates 3600 RPMs, sharpens chains, quarter to three quarter, easy to read adjustable guide. It comes with three different wheels, all different sizes. Got a lot more weight to it than the Harbor Freight one. So I got high hopes that this is actually gonna work. The other one didn't work so great. We're opening it. <clears throat> If there's anything damaged in here, we're both going to be surprised. Because I haven't opened this, and it's got a giant dent on the top. And like I said, they wouldn't give me no discount. I'm usually a shrewd no negotiator, but couldn't get them to give me a discount on it. They said it's just fine. So, looks like it comes in 100 pieces here. First bag we got, some parts. Next to, oh, okay, the base is metal. Thank goodness. Okay. All right, starting to like it. Which one of these companies would figure out a way to make them so there's no handle on the bottom so you can get them flusher? But then, on the other hand, you can't uh, you can't really. The chain's got a loop around it, so yeah, it's got to stick off the end. So we got our cutting wheels here. Wheel guard, probably not going to put that on. Uh, here's the heaviest. Here's the motor and all that. Well, I'm going to have to say, right out the gate, this is uh, definitely higher quality than the $30 Harbor Freight one. But this was $175, so it would be better quality, I think. So this is what comes with it. Got the mechanism here. Assembly is required, but it looks like it comes with a wrench there. So hopefully that's it. Although, I guess they assume that if you're buying something like this, you have tools around, so. That's a safe assumption. This is what comes with it. Some hardware. This thing, handle. Um, a flat stone for some reason. I'm not sure what you'd use that for. Some kind of guard. Some hardware. And a little uh, little gauge here. I'm not sure what good I'll do with that, but got a lot of different measurements on it so this is a pile of stuff that I'm probably not going to use and let's see an instruction manual probably tells us how to put it together but we're not going to worry about that so this is the meat and potatoes of it let's see
looks like there's really only one way to mount it. To the top here. Oh, it's there. Well, now let's put this thing on here again. Well, I'll be honest, this one's a little bit more scary than the other one. Gotta get on that button. Try it.